Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Body Pal Picking. My buddy Evan and I went to FlipCon back in August and then the day at the very end, we hit up a whole lot of yard sales as we were traveling from North Carolina all the way back down to Lexington, South Carolina. And we hit up some nice yard sales, made some great purchases and not so great purchases. So sit back, relax and check it out. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Okay. Is it negotiable? Yeah. All right. Eureka. You guys got it. <laughs> yes, sir. What's your, what's your channel? It's Baldy Pal. Like your best friend who's Balding bald. Baldy Pal. Yeah. YouTube, Rumble, what do you got? YouTube. All sales come with a cat. Yeah. No, please, no. Buy one, get one. I've got four at home already. Four? Oh my goodness. Don't ask. And I think that's why I got four because I didn't ask my wife to stop getting them. Can I ask where you heard about us? Um, Facebook, I think. Facebook? Oh no, yeah, he, yeah. he had. No, there's a uh, garage sale treasure map now. Here, I got this movie set I want to give you $3 for. For which one? This movie set right here. That is that lady. Movie oh. set lady. Yeah. You I got sale. I got a movie set here. Ching ching. $3. Okay. One, two, three. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Have a good day. You too. All right, so admittedly, this was one of those not so great finds. You saw me pick up Supernatural DVD set. I was mistaken. I was going by memory, and this is not the show you want to buy to flip on eBay. I paid three bucks, and this DVD set's only worth about five or six bucks. I was looking for Dark Angel. Dark Angel will sell 15 to 20 bucks per season, and if you get all of them together in one lot, it's like 75 bucks. So look out for Dark Angel next time you're in the yard sales. Harry Potter clue. Oh, I bet you that's good. California Raisins. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I see a video game here. Is there any more, or is this just a rogue one amongst the DVDs? They, the kids are still hanging on to those. Okay. That's all they would part with. I think that's all. How old are your kids? Uh, my kids are 17 and 14. Okay. How much do you want for the Harry Potter clue game? Um, I don't know, three dollars. Mm-hmm. And three dollars for these? I want the bargain, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. So a Panasonic tape recorder. Is a scanner? No, photo scanner. This is, is this a voice recorder or a walk? I think it's a voice recorder, isn't it? No, I think it's a Walkman. A Walkman? Okay. <laughs> I saw that and I wasn't sure if that was a microphone or not. How much did you want for the voice recorder? Maybe a buck, really. Okay. Thank you all so much. Yeah. Um, she sure. said three for the Harry Potter clue and three for these and one for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bucks. Yeah, I wasn't sure. And I'm like, oh. Look at that t shirt. There you go. There we go. It says focus. That's <laughs> seven. You, yep. Yeah. I was going to say. Thank y'all. Yeah. Good luck to sales. In this yard sale, you saw me pick up that little Panasonic tape player. Unfortunately, it was broken. I only paid a dollar, so it's not much loss. The next thing you saw me pick up was a Harry Potter clue game. I thought everything Harry Potter was pretty good. I paid $2 for this board game, and 
it's still sitting in my eBay store for 15 bucks. And then lastly, the bag of little California raisin action figures. I paid three dollars for the bag. There's like there was like eight or nine raisins, and I sold those for fourteen dollars. And then inside was also two little uh, like 1990 something another Kool-Aid man figures. I sold those together for ten dollars. So ultimately, I paid five six dollars, and I've already made twenty five bucks. Still waiting for the Harry Potter clue game to sell. Maybe it will this Christmas. Good morning. Good morning. Uh-oh. You see more than one? Oh, yeah. Morning. What about the Xbox and the laptop? Oh, I think I didn't see it. That one's twenty. Okay. Uh, Xbox, what? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Okay. Uh, iPhone seven. That one's still on. <laughs> Uh, 25. Okay. There you it's, go. Uh, it's got a sealed uh, DVD. 10 for the Xbox. And then I got a pair of shoes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I got stuff at home. I can plug it in and take a chance on it. Uh, $5. A bunch of Scentsy Warmers. I'm gonna leave them because they break. Oh no. We already bought everything. Get out. Go home. Very good. Hi. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Hi, how are you? Good, good, good. Hey. <laughs> Kevin, they're out of Tupperware. I've already asked. Kevin and Wyatt are buying all the hocus that we passed on because they weren't in good condition. Yeah, they're horrible. <laughs> Let them have it. Let them have it. All right, let's roll. All right, at this next yard sale, you see me run into a few other YouTubers. You got Kevin, Commonwealth Picker. You got Mel, back from Burnout, all the way from Australia. And you got Wyatt, Rewild and Reselling. We run into them all. Now look at these hokas, man. These are nasty hokas. But if you go check out somebody else's video, they picked them up. I left them behind. I thought they were just too far gone. I did end up buying this Xbox 360 for just $10. I didn't have the proper adapter I thought I did at home to plug it up and test it. So I borrowed one from my buddy Mike, the Death Pile Picker, and it works just fine. It needs to be factory reset, but I'm selling it as is for 40 bucks. Good morning, how are you? Wonderful. No battery cover. What is that? Never been, I don't think it's been open. So Booba? Boba? I'm gonna go back and get that. How much would you like for this little toy? A dollar. Excellent. <laughs> That's a good deal. Do you remember Booba? Do I remember Booba? I, I did not even know my what son, it was when I first looked at it. My son used to love Booba. There you go. They were these crazy little things that like... They dance, dance or something but... like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah? Yep. I don't know if they still are out, but you could probably YouTube them. It looks a little funky. It yeah. just caught my eye. It's fun. <laughs> Thank you. Brand new from Pier 1. Oh yeah? Yeah. Is it a just a, a Christmas decoration? Yeah. It's got a it's got a light. Okay. 
<laughs> what are you What are you asking for? It? Five. Because it's from Pier One. It's okay. Pier One, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll give you five. All right, cool. That was a good deal on the booba. Yeah. Uh, I'm, if you got change, I'll, I'm thinking I might need change. Uh, I'll take your smallest bill. Smallest is a five. Because I have. Smallest, okay. I mean, I'm sorry, smallest is a, is a 10. ten. I'm like, wait, well, that's said, what it is. I said the wrong thing. <laughs> that's all I have here. That's fine. One, two, three, four, and five. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. With Commonwealth Pig. Are you with him? Uh, I'm, he's around here somewhere. Yeah. Here, yeah. Like, what's, what's your channel? Uh, Baldy Pal. B A L D Y. I like yes. That. <laughs> Baldy Pal. That's right. I'll look you up. I, I haven't seen that one yet. Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. Baldy pal, one word. I have no idea what this thing is. It's called booba. <laughs> strange if you ask me but you know what for a dollar it was worth looking into and I'm glad I did even though it was broken it still sold for $19.95 plus shipping and then I also got this Pier 1 Imports uh, it's like a LED trailer and camper trailer and truck or car it was brand new in the box I paid five dollars it's still sitting in my eBay store but Christmas is just around the corner it should sell pretty good I've got it listed for 25 bucks Okay. I just don't know what to say to that. Tomatoes, huh? How much are your books? A dollar? Good. So, my mom went to uh, Ecuador in the Galapagos, so I was going to get her this book. Maybe she'll enjoy it. There you go. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. The only thing I found at this yard sale was this Ecuador slash Galapagos coffee table book. I paid a dollar for it and I really, it's a true story, I really did buy it for my mom. She got to go down to the Galapagos Islands uh, several years ago, like late 90s, early 2000s. She loved it. So I bought her this book as a memento. Luckily they had two of them, so I bought them both, a dollar each, and I sold the second one already for $19.95. How you doing man? Good. I like that Christmas tree. How much you want for it? Uh, I'll take 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks for it. All right. Having it pumped up and like that really makes that sell easy. Okay. <laughs> I'll pay like 90 bucks for it last year, so. You got a gaming console anywhere? I see you got some accessories. That's all I got left. All right, let's take it down and start packing it up. <laughs> 20 bucks. Go ahead and pay for it. This will go goo in my same height Santa Claus. Yeah. Does it have one of the zippers at the bottom? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Is that one? Yeah. Okay. It helped deflate it faster. Here we go. And I'll just stuff it in a bucket I got in my truck. You know, if you didn't have that plugged up and running, I wouldn't have bought it. So good marketing right there. <laughs> I really did enjoy the way we drove up to this yard sale and this guy had this big old Christmas tree just blown up in his front yard already. I loved it. In fact, I paid the 20 bucks. I'm not even sure if I'm not going to keep it for myself. I love these type of Christmas decorations. But if I do choose to sell it, look, they can go somewhere between 65 to 85 bucks. Being that Christmas is just around the corner, you never know. I think I might keep it this year, maybe sell it next year. I don't know. I haven't decided. Add it all up? Yeah. yeah. Um, YouTube, if you don't mind. No, what YouTube? Uh, Baldy Pal. Baldy Pal. 
Oh, okay. So, um, okay. Yard sales, estate sales, garage sales. As long as you mention Blue Moon. Blue Moon, not the beer. The no, estate sale it's, it's company. Blue Moon, Nor uh, Charlotte North, and Union County. All right, I'll put it in there and on the title. A hat, the baseball bat. Can cash? Did I hear everything was fifty off? Yeah, cash. Yes. Cash. Okay. So I think this is six, but I couldn't tell if it was Fourteen. nine or six. I think. Six. Okay. Thank you. So four and three is seven. Plus that. So we have tax and return. I forgot I'm not at the yard sale. Mm -hmm. So your total is going to be. 747. Yep. I think my daughter will like that hat. It's Brad Paisley. You see that? But she don't know who that is, but I do. <laughs> That's right. She's too young to know who that is. She was looking at Bucky's for a cowboy hat, and I said, I'm not buying you a $50 cowboy yeah. hat for you to just wear on Where'd one. You get the all right, this Worth softball bat, I've been bad about it. It's it's still sitting in my death pile. I picked it up for a half price of $6, so I paid $3 for it. And it's, again, like I said, it's still sitting in my death pile. But look at these comps. Currently, there's none sold, but there's two listed. One for $75, one for $76. I think I could still pull around $40 to $50. Bucks. Considering none of these have sold, I think the price may just be too high. But then again, spring comes around the corner, and they might actually go for that much. And the cowboy hat. I bought that for my daughter. It was only three or four bucks. I can't remember right now, but she wanted one at Bucky's for 50 bucks, and I just wouldn't let her have it. She has worn it out to the pools and all summer long. You're welcome, sweetie. Hey, kitty cat. Yes, sir. It's Baldy Pal. What? Baldy Pal. How you spell it? B A L D Y P A L. Baldy Pal. Yeah, Baldy Pal. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, these boot shirts? No, I don't know. I don't think so. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's talk to that lady. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Baldy Pal. Your best friend is losing his hair. Are these boot shirts? Those are Diane's. Diane's? Hey. How much would you want for the boots, ma'am? $5 a piece. $5 a piece? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Awesome. I'm going to uh, just put them over here and start a pile. Is that okay? Okay. How much do you think for the box of Legos? Um, Mm -hmm. You sure it, is it like do you know that it's still got everything in it that should be in it as far as like a complete I box? I don't know that. Okay. Because uh, gave them grandson he didn't play with. It. Okay. Okay. I know there's not a little bird in there. He touched a little A dollar? I think for a dollar I'll take it. It just looks neat. I sold a decanter one time. Are they in other oh, in Ziplocs? Okay, so they've been opened and played with and they they have. So but okay. Debbie said that they should all be in there. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I appreciate you letting me look. You're welcome. I'm, How much for the scenic game? Dollar. Okay. 
All right. I think I owe you a grand total of two dollars. One, two. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the deals. And she wanted five a piece for these boots. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, Going to find some bacon now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this one was probably my favorite yard sale of the whole video. I got two pair of Ariat women's boots. One, a brown suede. I, I paid $5 and I already sold for $40. And then another was a pair of black western uh, black leather. I paid $5 for those and they sold for $50. You also saw me pick up this Simpsons Seen It DVD game for a dollar. Thought the Simpsons would have done some good, but it doesn't. I got it listed for 10 bucks and it's not moving. You also saw me pick up this Jim Beam decanter bottle with the uh, deer on the front. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for a best offer of around 18 30 something plus shipping. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you all so much for stopping by Body Pal Picking. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. And I got some really good stuff planned for the next couple of months. Y'all stay safe out there and have fun picking.